Makeup. Hello, this is Allie from Tech Big Allie Speaking and special guest starring Autumn. And today we are going to be doing the Great Turkey Make Off. Yes, you heard me right. It's not Bake Off, it's not Take Off, it's the Great Turkey Make Off. Our challenge today, if we choose to accept it, which we have because we're making this video, so anyway, it, our challenge is to make a turkey that out of any of these materials and hack it somehow so that it just looks really cool. I don't really know what our goal is like at this point. To make it weird. Yes, we're just gonna make a turkey, okay? That's basically all it is. But hopefully it'll turn out really cool. So here we go. This corner we have Allie. Have she has made much more stuff than this girl. Oh yeah, this is Autumn. So what I'm mainly going to be using today is this Out of Fruit Circuit Playground and this Cricut, which I haven't actually used before, so this will be a learning experience. I will be using Little Bits, which I haven't used before, so let's see how this works. I could probably just use this. Where's the glitter? <laughs> Stuff. There's glitter? hack that I didn't even think about until I looked at the styrofoam is the fact that you can use one of these turkey cutters to cut styrofoam really easily and it actually makes a lot of sense in this video because we're talking about turkeys and yeah so here we go I'm going to be cutting the body of my turkey out of styrofoam out of a turkey cutter so makes sense. I just completed my circuit and now I'm just connecting this arm to my moving wheel to have my turkey have a moving arm to wave with a screwdriver. That's alright, I still have no clue what I'm going to do. Okay, so yellow and purple are supposed to make brown, so I'm going to mix them together to be the base of my turkey. I think the yellow is a little bit too old, it's chunky. We're going to try this again. That one looks weird. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to, um, okay, so what I've done is I took the foam base and I added this little, like, shopping bag material, paper shopping bag, and I cut it out so that it was nice and brown on the back, and then I'm going to add these feathers to it and then hot glue them in between these two layers and add another layer of pla uh, plastic paper bag to it, and then I'm going to add this to it. Then this is going to be the head, and then I'm going to be messing around with some uh, more dangerous stuff. My turkey! I'm going to be painting the whole body brown, and then the beak yellow, and then I'll be adding some colorful feathers for the back. looking like the Lion King for about 10 seconds after I glue this on. Ta-da! It's Simba. Just painted my nail. Fall trends with a Z. Dry paint! Dry! So this is my turkey. What, what? This whole painting thing took me a really long time, and Allie's pretty much ahead, so I think I have a little bit of a plan. Hey guys, come here. Llamas? Shh. Aliens? Shh. Got you covered. Ah, you 
you in? I don't want to be in. Hey, Ali. Uh, yeah? So you know how you've been doing this longer than I have? Yeah. And you have more of an advantage. Uh, I guess, I guess so. Why do you ask? Um, well, I have a little bit of a distraction. You're gonna need these. Now! Oh. So I found this old Home Depot craft box that was Allie's and she made it in 2012. And I'm gonna be using it to put my spare parts in the box back here. And I'm going to be hot gluing my turkey onto the back. So I'm going to be using this cardboard as well as this motor that I will hook up to the uh, cricket. And hopefully I'll be able to make my turkey um, wobble around and I am very concerned they're not going to be able to do it right now, but I'm just going to mess around with it and see what happens, so yeah. I'm pretty much done. I attached the Circuit Playground Express to the Cricut, and I used John Park's Golf Hammer tutorial to figure out how to program it. By using Makeo.com and importing the Cricut library, I could program it with four blocks to make the motor move. as well which is totally legal but anyway um, I'm using this battery pack and then I have alligator clips going up to this battery snap from the little bits kit and I'm doing this because I didn't actually have the right cord which whatever but now it actually works so I'm very proud of this little thing here so yeah at first I tried using a cardboard box to mount my motor and my turkey but it ended up being way too flimsy so I decided to go with the stronger plastic instead Okay, this is the moment of truth. This is how we're going to test it. And oh, I need the battery pack. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I took this piece of scrap wood that I found in my basement and these two chopsticks, and I actually cut off the ends of these chopsticks where they were stuck together. But now I'm going to drill a couple holes into this base plate as the feet of the um, turkey, and then I'm going to stick these up in as the legs and then stab it onto the main body to attach them, and hopefully it will turn out pretty good. And 
now for the moment of truth. Oh, perfect size. Here, let's see the other one. Yay! Ha 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 ha. Go, go, go. actually fit with my electronic idea so I ended up just making it these feet right here and so now it's just like a non-moving decoration and it still looks all right mine worked yeah that's nice but yeah <laughs> wait show them what yours does <laughs> okay then so uh, post in the comments below who you thought won whether it was me or autumn and please don't roast me too much so yeah and thanks for joining us for the great turkey makeoff